Today, welcome to Fnackle Side Rider. Today, we're up at Nefton ATV Hello, Trails again, and uh, I'm out with Bug. That's Bug in front of me with his Z Force 950, the orange one. Machine. And here we, go. we also have Kathy. She has a Honda Rubicon ATV, and we got Don with his C Force 500 with almost 20,000 kilometers on it. And I don't know if you can hear me, but yeah, we're going across this sketchy bridge. It's looking a little tight. you've never seen seen any of my videos at Nefton ATV Trails uh, it offers everything lots of technical trails uh, rocks and uh, water and hills and more rocks and boulders and rivers and creeks and waterfalls uh, and on this trip tons of deer flies and they were hungry We got a tree to go around. It's been a little bit windy again. Here at Nefton, there's always trees to go around, it seems like. That's what makes it so much fun. It's always an adventure. Not as easy for the side-by-sides to get around as it is with the ATVs, but still doable. That's all that matters. Lots of low gear driving in today. getting onto the main trail you see there's lots of crushed stone here I gotta put it back in high gear and uh, so why this has all been groomed and got the crushed stone and everything it's for the snowmobile club I believe for snowmobiling in the winter the main trail to get to the back so that's why they've done so much work to this and it's 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 good I mean like uh, we got enough rough trails to ride here on in Nefton, so to get a little further up through the woods here and have this trail, it doesn't hurt.
coming up to the part here that was washed out before. Dennis and Mike and a bunch of other people have done a good job fixing it. We used to go down the hill to the left there and around and back up onto the trail, which was fun too. But it's good that they've fixed that trail properly. And it seems like every year there's something wrong there. It washes out. Beavers make dams and then they let go and it's a lot of pressure. This is a bit tight here. I have to take a couple runs because there's some uh, roots there. See to the right, there's a root, big root sticking up. So I put in four wheel drive, turned a little bit more to the left, and the Z Force fit through there. It was kind of, well, Doug made it through before me, so I knew I could fit through. But uh, if I would have been the first one to attempt it, I would have been like, what the heck, right? But I would have eventually made it. This is a tight trail, real bushy and a lot of deer flies in here. As long as you keep moving, it's not too bad. Get deep there. You said the hell with it. get me good through that mud hole but there's nothing to hook my clamp to my camera so we won't do it
have another creek crossing. Look at that, a perfectly good bridge to use. You think we'd use that bridge? But uh, that wouldn't be any fun. See it straight ahead there where all those rocks are right in front of me to the right of the screen? Yeah, right there in front. We used to go down that and up it. Like the water is usually higher here. And you don't see all how, how heavy duty those rocks and boulders are there. So you just go down or go through it. I knew it was rough, but yeah, you just pick the best line you can. Doug here gets hung up on a rock. Yeah, right here. Gets hung up on a rock. So I'm going to go around the back in behind him and see if he needs to get hooked on and get pulled out. we don't see all these rocks it's all underwater so it's a little different this year I'm not sure why that is but it just is After this day was over, riding through here, I came home and I was beat. Like even the next day, I like got my arms were sore, my my legs, my back was a little achy, but not too bad. But 
Yeah, my legs. It's just a lot of rocking around inside the tab of the Z Force and look at like look at all this crap we gotta go through. Just crawl over, a lot of crawling, a lot of low gear. But it's a lot of fun in here. But after I've been in here oh probably well after I've been in there for a day and you know, a ride, I'm good for two, three weeks before I ever head back into there. There's no way I could do it two days in a row. I just wouldn't be interested in it. It just wears you out. But it's a lot of fun at the same time. I also find that it's getting more and more beat up too. Like I think a lot of there, there's been people in here with trucks and jeeps, and of course you know people with ATVs and side by sides. But the trail is getting getting more and more beat up and with heavy rains as well that it just wears out everything and making it more and more rough. But that's what makes it technical and makes it nuffed in and. It makes it one of those places you just look forward to going to, but you don't want to go there all the time. Because it can wear you down. But it's fun. A lot of fun. see us avoid some of these big soupy green puddles it, it's not that they're deep or anything it's just that they smell like awful bad smell when you go through them you stir up all that algae and scumminess in there and yeah it reeks really bad so we avoid the big deep greeny holes as much as we can
I have some good video. It's, uh, I don't know, it's about a year old. We're coming through the opposite way through that big puddle there on the right. And got some good shots of people flying through there or spinning sideways. And, um, I'll leave a link in the description of this video where you can go through the playlist. I have a whole playlist on Neft and ATV trails. I don't know how many videos I have. There must have at least 15 anyway. But yeah, you can go through them at your own leisure and check out many different rides in here. It's always something a little different, different people I'm riding with. And I know that the trails probably don't look as rough as, as if you were there, but just times that by about five and it's probably that rough. my neck. You think that part going in towards the falls was rough. It's leaving the falls this and continuing on down this trail. This is like twice as rough as it was and twice as tight as it was going into the falls. This area here is really getting beat down. Less water again, but yeah, it's really getting beat down and rough. Uh, hopefully we can still get through here a few years from now. But, uh, well, maybe when I'm in my 90s, I won't want to come in here. Hopefully I can ride up in here until I'm in my 80s, but uh, I'll have to spend the rest of my life just dreaming about coming in here. Or, yeah, I can just watch my videos. That's what I'll do. And I'll reminisce about the good times with my friends in here at Nefton.
because there's basically no other place like it for us. I mean, we just really like this place. So this is the sand pit and uh, the water holes are drying up a bit. They're still pretty large though, but they were a lot bigger in uh, early summer, late spring. I spotted a deer I just happened to be leading and look at the deer there just on the left of the trail you can see it coming I'll get a bit of a I'll get a bit of shot for you been to Apsley. We're on our way back and uh, it's been a great day. I want to thank you for watching.